In a game-changing display of military technology, Japan has just showcased its cutting-edge electromagnetic railgun system designed specifically to take down one of the most dangerous threats of modern warfare, hypersonic missiles. Yes, the same missiles that travel at over Mach 5, capable of evading traditional missile defenses. And now, Japan is stepping into the global defense spotlight with a weapon that looks like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie. Welcome back to Next Gen World, where today, we're diving into the jaw-dropping reveal of Japan's electromagnetic railgun, and how this powerful weapon could shift the balance in the age of hypersonic warfare. Let's set the scene. Hypersonic missiles are the nightmare of current defense systems. With blistering speeds and unpredictable flight paths, they can strike targets with almost no time for interception. Countries like China, Russia, and even North Korea have already tested or deployed such systems, raising concerns across the Indo-Pacific region. And Japan are being in one of the most strategic and tension-filled neighborhoods on Earth who is not sitting quietly. Japan's Ministry of Defense has officially confirmed the progress of its electromagnetic railgun prototype, a high-velocity weapon that uses electric energy and not explosive propellants to launch projectiles at speeds exceeding 2,000 meters per second. That's nearly seven times the speed of sound. Unlike conventional guns or missile systems, rail guns operate using electromagnetic force to accelerate a metal slug along two rails. The result, a projectile that doesn't explode but smashes its target with pure kinetic energy. This rail gun is intended not just for shipborne deployment but also as a potential land-based missile defense unit are designed to shoot down threats like hypersonic glide vehicles and advanced cruise missiles. And this is a major leap. Unlike missile interception systems that can be astronomically expensive here think millions of dollars per intercept or a railgun rounds are much cheaper, faster to fire, and harder to dodge. The version Japan unveiled isn't just a concept anymore. It's a functioning prototype successfully tested and hitting Mach 6. Over the last few years, Japan's acquisition, technology logistics agency Atlua has quietly developed this system with funding that now exceeds tens of billions of yen. The goal? Create a reliable defense shield that can intercept threats moving faster than anything humanity has dealt with before. But it's not just about stopping hypersonic missiles. Railguns have another advantage a rate of fire. Traditional interceptors have reload times and launch limitations. A railgun, in contrast, can theoretically fire multiple rounds per minute, creating a near constant stream of defensive firepower. In a real world scenario, that means a swarm of incoming threats could be met with a matching swarm of hypersonic slugs obliterating them before they reach their targets. Japan's design also appears compact enough to be adapted to various platforms, including future warships or even mobile land-based units. The railgun's versatility, combined with its high speed and pinpoint accuracy, makes it one of the most promising technologies to counter evolving missile threats. Of course, Japan isn't the only country pursuing this tech. The United States has already spent years and billions of trying to operationalize rail guns, with mixed results. China has been spotted testing one at sea. But Japan's approach is methodical and strategic. They're not just developing a railgun for firepower, they're optimizing it for defense precision, and real-world deployment against the exact threats looming over their skies. Now here's the deeper strategy, integrating the railgun with Japan's overall multi-layered defense network. Imagine these enemy missiles are detected by early warning satellites, tracked by land and sea-based radar, and then intercepted by a combination of SM-3 missiles, Patriot systems, and now, railguns. The speed of engagement goes from seconds to milliseconds. And that's the kind of rapid response system that could make a real difference in future conflicts. With the US and Japan tightening defense cooperation under various security frameworks, don't be surprised if this technology eventually gets integrated into joint exercises or even finds its way onto American ships in the Indo-Pacific. It could even spark a railgun arms race where countries compete not just for offensive power, but for electromagnetic defense dominance. Critics, 
of course, of questions. Rail guns require massive amounts of energy, complex cooling systems, and durable rail materials to sustain repeated firing. But Japan is tackling those issues with a unique approach a high efficiency capacitors, advanced materials, and possibly hybrid energy sources. In fact, recent tests have demonstrated consistent results, and Japan is confident they can move from prototype to field ready systems within the next few years. Let's be honest to this isn't just about defense, it's a signal, a message to potential adversaries that Japan is ready to defend its territory with next-gen tech, that it's not relying solely on allies or outdated systems. It's about deterrence, credibility, and national security in a rapidly changing world. Imagine a future where conventional missiles are obsolete, where conflicts are won not just with firepower, but with ultra-fast electromagnetic precision strikes. That's the battlefield Japan is preparing for and it's not far away. As the world watches, Japan's electromagnetic railgun could be the ultimate game changer. Not just for missile defense, but for the entire balance of power in the Pacific. Thanks for watching Next Gen World. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want more breakdowns of the world's most advanced military tech. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Do you think railguns are the future of defense, or just another expensive experiment? We'll see you in the next video. Stay curious, stay sharp.